All right, so we're going to come in here. We got a breakout scenario uh, here against the Bengals. Uh, not 100% sure who we got the you know, dev trait here for. Akeem Butler. Looking to go from that normal uh, dev to a star. It'd be a great, uh, just something great to get for this team. Get a little more, you know, development traits there uh, since we really don't have many. Uh, what, Makai Becton, our punter, and Quincy Williams? Quentin Williams? Whatever, whatever it is. Pretty sure that's the only one. Taking a look here at uh, the Bengals team, pretty much it's the exact same roster. Um, you know, as far as from what we actually know, uh, they don't have anybody that is initially from our team. As we look here to kick off, you know, to start the game, you know, their week one, we absolutely dominated the Raiders. Who knows if jet lag it was a part of you know them just getting absolutely destroyed. As this is our first game here in the United States. You know, we'll have to come in here, see if for some reason the jet lag works both ways. As you know, we're you know starting here on defense. And, you know, Joe Mixon just finds the hole. You know, just shimmies up there, gets a first down. Um, currently, I am doing a voiceover on the, uh, the video. Audio went absolute shit. Uh, whenever I initially recorded it, it was just all staticky. Not exactly sure what happened as they're able to complete that. Eight yards, Trey Burton. You know, Mr. Philly special in the Super Bowl, throwing that touchdown pass there to Nick Foles. They're, Joe Burrow is so far throwing dots. Uh, able, not really, not really going deep, but, you know, two easy completions. He's finding the open man. Our zone coverage isn't the greatest, uh, along with the play wreck in general. So, if this continues this game, it will actually, it's going to be pretty hard. Like I said, defense isn't the greatest as is, but we're able to swat that ball. Uh, order. I don't think that was who was in coverage, but... Able to force second and ten. You might have a little bit of something here. As Mixon bounces all the way to the outside. He had a huge hole right there inside his left tackle. He decides to bounce outside. Take the TFL of one. So if we can you know, stop him here. We'll be able to get the ball back hopefully. And we do. We get them stopped. Fourth and one. They only picked up ten. Now holding them, holding them to a field goal is huge. As we are, you know, a much lower overall. You know, still not there at that 70. So currently down 3 nothing. As we're looking, you know, try to capitalize on our first possession. And as you see, we're now in the second quarter down. They pinned us at the one. Hurts able to, you know, put his head down, get a little breathing room. They're at four yards. Thing, let's see if we can get some magic here. You know, we got the bubble screen out there. But, you know, we'll run. Able to, you know, just make... Not sure who 58 is, but we're able to make a miss as Hurts, you know, just he's different. Able to take it 96 yards, a total of 99 yards on that drive. 
didn't even want to call it a drive. Two plays, 99 yards. We're up 7 nothing as we come back out here on defense. Down uh, in the red zone is Cincinnati. They find the open man taking the 10-3 lead. You know, so we're down here. Hurts going for another touchdown. Pretty much walking. And I don't even... I would say untouched, but technically he got tackled there, uh, left off the turbo, or able to get right in. We got the ball back, still up 14-10, able to get that stop. We're here in the fourth quarter as Hertz finds the hole, able to zigzag through the Bengals' defense for the third score on the day, 21-10. You know, that jet lag, if there was any, it's worn off. We're back. We're ready to roll. Not sure whether we're home or away here next two games, but we're able to safety. There we go. 26 10. Uh, but like I was saying, if we're able to, you know, stay here in the United States, you know, it'd be great for the team as. We win 26-10. Yeah, Tyree Jackson, solid day. Don't really want to try to voice over what the star performance was because I honestly have no idea. But we won the game, which is one. We won by more than 14. So that's one and a half. I want to say this ended up coming out to be a three star, three or four. Just with sacks, uh, defense. Because, I mean, granted, I don't know. We didn't go and actually do a something for a safety. It's technically, I wouldn't even consider that a score, but it was a. I want to say it ended up being a four-star performance, which is a plus eight, able to bring in Quincy Wilson to the team as we send Hall over to the Bengals. Much improved. Our secondary needed help, and we're able to do that there. Uh, so, it solid pickup for us. I know it kind of seems right now that I'm all over the place because really I am. I'm trying to watch it there on the screen. We're now a 69 overall, 68 offense, 71 defense with that addition of Quincy uh, Wilson. Hakeem Butler was able to hit his dev trait. Now that star development, get that extra you know XP throughout with the additional 5,000 experience points for him. As just kind of looking here at the lineup, so you know, Hertz and then I believe is our receiver. Uh, other than Mackay, Quinnen, and now Hakeem Butler, that's that's our you know, our dev trade guys. As we jump right in here to the sim. And we get to take on the Houston Texans. It's just going to be one of those things. Can we continue this win streak? Currently on that two-game win streak. Uh, like I said, play two and sim two. So here in the sim against the Texans, we lose. So two and one coming into the year uh coming into the year, but to start the year. So two and one, get these upgrades in. A lot of depth guys there. 
on typically any other team in the NFL. It's here week four. We get to go ahead, take on the Indianapolis Colts, just kind of looking, you know, really whenever it comes to scouting, absolutely anything will help. So it's not just one certain position group that we're looking at. Jumping in here, get the sim against the Colts. See if we can pull out a win, go to three and one. We lose, drop to two and two. And we lost. Two and two on the year. We'll go down through here. Just, well, like I said, run through the scouting. We're going to scout everybody that we possibly can. Because, I mean, for the most part, anybody that's out there is going to be an upgrade to this team. As come in here, just automatically hit those upgrades. Get into the week five by. After we, you know, just kind of look to see what the star performances were. And if I remember correctly, when I first recorded this episode, um, we are looking more at a, it would have been a two or three star loss here. And a two or three loss there. Against the Colts. But I mean, Texans, we were pretty close 20 to 17. So there was, there's hope there. We were able to, for the most part, bottle up uh, Deshaun Watson, even though they had 121 rushing yards, uh, 183 for Watson. Jackson played. You know, phenomenal for what he has. 244, one and one. Uh, so yeah, it's it's more that see if we can actually get there to where we're actually winning sim games. Uh, other than that, unless I lose a game, we can look at eight and eight. But it's. It's really whatever Madden wants to give us. You know, most likely we'll... I'd probably say we're going to finish under 500. Uh, at least that's my early predictions. Uh, but yeah. Hopefully, kind of right now, I'm just kind of rambling in this absolute domination for the most part by the Colts, you know, beating us in rushing, beating us in uh, passing as well as Sam Darnold is their, their quarterback, able to throw two and one. So I don't know if he was a little. Irritated that with the move, he was one of the guys that we cut our ties with, or what? But this is what it is. So we're here, week five in the bye week. We're just going to go ahead. We're going to jump ahead, get to week six as we look to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, it's going to be one of those things where we got to decide on what what we're actually going to, what games we're going to play, because we got three divisional games out of the next four games coming up. Do we want to play the Dolphins, Patriots, or Bills? Or do we want to go over and jump in, try to play another Play an AF, uh, NFC team. Just kind of see how the team fares. But other than that, that's going to end today's episode. Finish the season. Well, finish this episode two and two. Two user wins, two computer sims. Uh, but 
make sure you drop that like, leave a comment. Let me know, you know, you guys enjoying this, whatnot. Uh, and if you're new, smack that sub button. Trying to hit that goal of 100 subs to you know get us there. 